near religious experience after the first presentation this afternoon. And uh, very interesting to see um, Hubert's um, view of the world there. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Tim Parker, and um, I'm going to perhaps uh, go through something that's a little bit more feet on the ground. Um, because um, this is a, a short presentation on the importance of design to our company. We exist in a, a very competitive world and uh, I'm interested um, in global things and green things and in what's going to happen in the future but I'm also very concerned about what's going to happen tomorrow. And um, we are a business which trades in over a hundred countries throughout the world. Our global sales um, at the moment are somewhere in the region of $2 billion. And uh, we are managing across a whole range of, of different markets. We have um, four major brands, Samsonite, American Tourista, High Sierra and Hartman. Today, I'm going to focus um, on Samsonite. We just don't have enough time to really talk about the other brands. And um, our company um, has been going um, for over 100 years. It was founded in 1910 as um, the Schwader Brothers Trunk Manufacturing Company. And um, this, you can see here... Um, the five Schwader brothers, and you can see they weren't just eating a bit of dim sum. They were, they were certainly not light chaps, and they're standing on one of the company's first trunks and demonstrating, I think, one of the, the key attributes of, of our products, which is strength. And I thought it might be um, interesting just to... Just to look at some of the advertising that we've used um, over the last few years. And some of the things that we've said, this, this is um, for the guy, of course, for stamina, style, travel convenience, Samsonite's new man-tailored luggage beats anything on the list. Designed for men, its new slim shape makes handling easier than ever. Spacious interiors are richly lined and fitted for neater, wrinkle-free packing. Built strong enough to stand on, Samsonite man-tailored luggage has streamlined lots, sturdy frames, and so on and so forth. Um, this is how nice graduates used to look. You know, really charming in a tie and everything. Um, Samsonite is strong enough to stand on. It's better than leather covering, keeps clean with a flick of a damp cloth. Samsonite luggage comes in handsome manly colors for the young man and on your list and its natural rawhide finish and smart fashion for your girl graduates. Here's a, another um, very successful um, style of ours called Silhouette. Silhouette by Samsonite, elegant magnesium luggage without a lock in sight. Silhouette's got them, the smartest lines around, a new high and high styling with hidden locks, and spacious, gracious. Outside of a closet, clothes never had it so good. And here we are, we've got American servicemen returning from the war. Um, and uh, what does it say here? It says, now that our war job is done, we'll be supplying Mr. and Mrs. America with more and better Samsonite luggage, distinguished for its advanced design, its smart beauty, its rugged utility, its matchless value, the luggage that's strong enough to stand on, at the better stores everywhere. And you can see here, he's, he's obviously returning from Japan because he's got a samurai sword under his arm or something. Um, so over the years, we, we've really concentrated on a few key themes that really stand behind our brand. And I think if you were to summarize the, the key attributes of Samsonite, first of all, it's quality, style, Durability, functionality, lightness, and strength. And how does that translate into a design philosophy? 
Well, we believe that design is a key source of competitive advantage, and that's not just a theoretical construct. We actually aim to outspend our competitors by a very wide margin in this department. And that means, I think, that we have more designers. Uh, we aim to recruit the very best designers, some of, of whom I think are here today. Um, and we invest more than any of our competitors in research and development. We believe, of course, that design must reflect the core values of the brand. And we very much focus on innovation. Samsonite is not a luxury brand. We are not in the market for a, a high image, um, especially. We are a brand that people um, expect innovation from. They want to trust our products. They expect from us the very best, but they expect something new. They expect something different. They expect something interesting. And design, most of all, must respond to the needs of different consumer tastes in different geographies. Rather unusually, um, for a, a global business, our company is split into four almost um, autonomous separate units. So we have a, a, a region in Asia, which is almost a standalone business. We have a region in Europe, one in North America, and one in Latin America. And each region handles its own marketing, sales, design and development, and sourcing. The design centers we have are aimed at responding to the requirements of each region. So we have one in Aldenada in Belgium, one in Boston in the US, one here in Hong Kong with offices also in Korea and in Japan. And the company, most importantly, is still manufacturing in Belgium and in Hungary and in India. And the, the fact that we remain manufacturers and not wholly dependent on subcontracting is essential when it comes to retaining the know-how in our business, which again is the source of a lot of very good design. But also, we are designing different products for different markets because the consumer taste, as I'll show you in America, is quite different from Asia and is quite different from Europe. If I was to sort of um, essentially try and boil things down, Americans like stuff that is big and sturdy and reliable. Um, Europeans are quite style conscious, quite design oriented, and so are Asians, but Asians also require refinement. And we have to respond to those three very, very broad differences um, between the geographies. This is our enemy. This is the enemy for Samsonite. This is the world of boring, black, anonymous cases. This is what we are effectively trying to grab a share out of, because there are loads and loads of people you can find doing this kind of thing in China and Hong Kong especially. So I thought I'd give you a few examples, and this perhaps is our premier line. It's a, uh, a line which is built around a unique material which we use at Samsonite. Um, this is essentially um, a woven polypropylene. It's polypropylene thread uh, which is woven um, and then laminated. So what you have is, is the sort of thing you'll find you go to a building site, all the rubble that, that you carry away is put in these very strong sacks, and they're essentially woven polypropylene. And what we do is laminate um, layers, and you get an exceedingly light um, and very durable material. And this unique material um, we use to make our premier range of products. And it's a material which has to be designed very carefully. Um, and it's designed in such a way with ridges in precise areas to maximize the strength of the product. And by maximizing the strength of the product, we, cre we are able to effectively reduce the material that we put into the, um, the actual um, uh, the, the molds and, and the actual um, case itself. And by reducing the material in the case, we obviously have 
a much lighter case. So it's a combination of the use of a unique material and a special way of designing the product, which has created, in essence, something that looks completely different in the suitcase market. And uh, this very characteristic shell design has become um, an icon in our industry. I think we've sold over a million units um, of the case on the left um, within a few years. And uh, it's a product which I think is a good example of, of something which has been created differently, is based on a completely different approach, and meets the needs of the consumer. And of course, we try to aim to communicate the benefits of the case in a very consistent way. And it is a, it is a, a material with a memory, so if you actually squeeze it or drop it, it will actually go back into its original shape um, with a bit of help. Uh, and of course, it won a Red Dot Award, which is always gratifying. Um, but if, you know, once you've got a product in the marketplace, it doesn't stay successful forever. So we then have to look at the process of designing continual improvement into our products. And uh, it, this is just a sort of very simple comparison between old Cosmolite, which is the, the biggest selling product I, I mentioned a moment ago, and new Cosmolite. New Cosmolite is about 10 or 15% lighter than old Cosmolite. That is a good step forward. But I hope you can see that small improvements to every facet of the product contribute to making a much, much better uh, looking product and, as it turns out, an even better selling product. So the locks are slightly better, the handle is slightly better, the wheels are slightly better. And this may all seem small stuff, but small stuff makes a big difference. And uh, sometimes, you know, it's easy to get your head up in the clouds about, you know, doing fantastic things. But the real world about winning out in a very competitive marketplace is often fought over tiny stuff and getting the small things absolutely better than the competitors. And the latest iteration of this product is um, the same theme with a super light frame. Uh, which enables you to fully lock the case. One of the things I personally hate on suitcases are zips. Uh, zips make a case a bit wobbly. They're easy to break into. Um, this, again, is a completely new uh, concept in terms of a frame. Most frames on suitcases are heavy. And therefore, when you put a frame on a case, you get a very secure case, but you get a heavy case. This is a super light product, as well as being a super secure product. Again, not rocket science, but it is something that actually drives our business forward in a material way. Um, polypropylene, um, again, a great product, um, a, a great material for cases. If you, um, if you watch uh, what aircrew carry, there's a high chance that aircrew are carrying a polypropylene case. And the reason polypropylene is so good is, is as we say in English, um, built like a brick shithouse, it doesn't actually break very easily. It's very rugged. And um, we developed a completely new um, product here on the right called Secure, which has been one of the best-selling products in recent Samsonite history. And it's worth asking the question, why? And the reason is, again, we have taken every aspect of this product and improved it. So the components, unlike many products, which are simply built on, are fully recessed and appear to create a product which is completely streamlined. We've used the design to actually put ribs in, which again strengthen the product and allow us to reduce the amount of material used in the mold. We have put in a completely uh, new form of detailing on the product, which changes the look of the product fundamentally. Polypropylene products are apt to look a little pedestrian and industrial. This product actually has, believe me, real character. 
And by using a new material, we've been able to take out a huge amount of weight. Uh, a lot of that coming as well from the design. So what's design actually done for Samsonite? Well, it's created a product where we have been able to lift the volume per kilogram by 35%. And you might feel, well, you know, that's all kind of interesting kind of, but not fantastic in terms of revolutionary design. But this is what really makes the difference in the real world, having something which is demonstrably better because of all of the effort and detail that's gone into the design. Be Light, this is a product, again, which has sold literally hundreds of thousands of units across the world. It's the best-selling soft-side luggage from America to Mexico, from Thailand to Norway, from Spain to Switzerland. And it's a very, very simple concept. What we did um, was to look at the top handle, amongst other things. Most handles on suitcases are actually stitched into a frame. And because they're stitched into a frame, you have to build up material, you have to put the actual structure in to support the handle. This design actually took a handle and integrated it into the frame of the product. A very simple idea. It was patented. We chased down any other luggage manufacturer who tries to copy this approach. And it's a, an example, again, of where a very simple design idea has translated into a materially better product, a very competitive product, and in a world of sameness, a product that actually outsells the competitors by quite a wide margin. There were lots of other things we did to this product to produce, uh, when we first brought it out, what was a completely revolutionary reduction in the weight of luggage. But I just wanted to point it out, because again, it's another example of simple improvement that makes a big, big difference. Now, I, I, I spoke a, a moment ago about how attitudes differ from market to market. In America, um, we sell to maybe 12 or 13 big retailers, Macy's, Coles, JCPenney. Um, these are the guys that we have to sell into, and it is shit-hot compet uh, shit competition, because there are plenty of other brands who are trying to do exactly the same thing. So you cannot afford to get things wrong. And we did a lot of analysis of what the consumer in America actually wants out of luggage. And they want stuff like very sturdy construction. They want wheels that are smooth. They want fabric which is super strong, isn't going to tear. They want a frame that doesn't buckle. They want lots and lots of compartments to store things in. It must be light. It needs lots of protection. It must appear large. This is size matters in America. I think size probably matters everywhere, but size matters particularly in America. And, uh, you know, things in America to the American market, they must pass a basic looks test, but don't necessarily have to embody the most beautiful and, and the most stylish um, aspects of uh, an item that you have ever seen. And they can't be overly feminine. Uh, this is something, again, which the customer in America tends to be a bit sensitive about. Um, so having sort of looked at that, we started to, again, understand how people look at luggage in the States. They want to maximize packing space. Size is important. Uh, they need to balance out size with conservatism. Something needs to be big and boxy, but not horrible. And we kind of then looked at how do people regard luggage when they look at luggage and the sorts of questions they ask. And they ask, does the bag look big? Will I feel comfortable rolling it about in an airport? Do I recognize the brand? Does the fabric look like it will last and not tear? Does the handle come up easily and look strong? Do the zippers look fat and tough? And once we've opened the bag, of course, people are interested in, um, first of all, how much compartments, how many compartments are there, but also, is there anything extra that I'm going to get? And so I just thought I'd look briefly at a couple of our best-selling products in America, which embodied a lot of the research that we did. 
And uh, this is Silhouette Sphere. Again, it's a, a, a really, really big seller. Um, and it's a very simple, you, I hope you can see it has a slightly boxier look than the thing I showed you earlier. Um, it has an innovative sphere wheel design, which you, you can't see easily there. Um, it has a, a very, very nice feeling handle. And just to move on, the, the wheel design is genuinely near spherical. And it's a small thing. A sphere wheel, you might think, isn't a big deal. But this product has been the most successful launch in America for five years. We're about to launch it in Asia. And I know this design has made a huge difference to how the product has fared in a very competitive and very same-like market. So get a great idea, just one good idea in a product, and it can make all the difference when so many other aspects of what you're doing are quite similar to everyone else. Uh, and this is Lyft. This is the American version of, of the product that I showed you earlier, Be Light, which again is a bit sturdier, a bit heavier. Um, and a lot of things that we put into it are just very simple um, things that make a difference in America. Unbreakable zipper pullers. Uh, you need to have essentially um, a, a lot of things which make the customer feel that the product is, is really substantial. And uh, all of these aspects, if you want to improve things, need to be changed each time you look at redesigning a product. So I'll just switch now to Asia because we have a team in Asia again which is focused entirely on the customer here in Hong Kong, in China, Japan, Korea, and all the markets that we operate in here. And uh, what we're looking to achieve particularly in Asia is some degree of innovation because, as I said, this is a market that's quite commoditized. Uh, and just a few examples of how we have addressed that issue. This is, a, 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 again, a best-selling product, a very simple design concept that in, instead of having uh, most uh, cases you find, which are hard suitcases, are effectively um, uh, split opening, we want to design a case where, where effectively you had a top opening structure. And uh, by designing that, you have a product which is very, very uh, high capacity. And if you can see here, you can actually put it on a... Um, you know when you check into a hotel, they give you that stupid little stand to put your case on, and you then try and open your case. And if it's a split case, um, the case falls off, or your stuff falls out of the top, because you have to lean it against the wall. There's no balance. Well, this enables you to open the case very conveniently and comfortably. And uh, again, it's a very simple cutaway concept in terms of design, but it's made a huge difference. Go out and buy one. It's called Spin Trunk. Um, this is another product. Uh, again, um, Optimum, where the aim has been simply to maximize the amount of volume inside the case. This is what people are looking for these days. They want to be able to put a lot of stuff in their case. And if you look, you can't quite see it from the... Um, the slide, but it's a fat case. This is a fat boy. And again, it's a simple approach, but it is yielding very good commercial results. Um, this again is another example of where we have taken our curve product and put a frame on it and produced um, a super secure product, which again is selling extremely well in markets here. And another product where again we have focused entirely on putting lightness in. So we focused all the engineering effort in taking weight out. We have the lightest case that you can buy. And uh, again, it's uh, absolutely um, super, um, super sales um, item, and the concept has worked extremely well. And finally, we are trying to wake things up a little bit in terms of color and styling. And this is just an example here of a, a very big selling uh, product under our Samsonite red brand. Lots of color. So, making design work and making it work hard. As I mentioned, good design lies at the heart of our core brand values. Design is informed by detailed research of our consumers. 
I believe that design is a key source of competitive advantage and will insist always that we are investing more than our competitors. Innovation is critical. Manufacturing know-how is important. Decentralized management of design is critical to meeting the needs of different geographies. And effective communication must create an emotional link between a well-designed product and the consumer. And hopefully, this will give... Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.